Every year, the Ronald McDonald House helps hundreds of families with children who need special care. But the only house in Nebraska has had to turn away hundreds more. Now that will soon change. 3 News Now reporter Jessica Ritchie was there as they revealed plans for a new house like no other in the country. These problems that these kids have can cause you to lose everything. The K. Aloha family has been living at the Ronald McDonald House for four months as three-year-old Elizabeth undergoes multiple surgeries. When we came, we was actually running out of hope that someone could actually help her. And then we started seeing the little miracles running around the house, and day three we had hope. It doesn't matter what your illness is. It doesn't matter how much money you make. We will take you in as long as there's room. The problem is we're out of room. More than 700 families were turned away from the house this year alone. Now they plan to double in size, building rooms, offices, classrooms, and something never seen before. We are officially partnering with UNMC and Nebraska Medicine to build a clinic and infusion center inside the walls of the Ronald McDonald House. The in-house clinic will be the first and only in the country. Dr. David Mercer, Elizabeth's surgeon, says it makes sense for his medical team to be where the patients are. We're at the point at, as, a, as an institution and as a program where there's not a separation anymore. This is our home. For the Kealohas, it means less stress getting to appointments. It's going to help we, a lot. You can just go out of your room, go down to the clinic, and then not have to worry so much about getting up really early and then going all the way over to the hospital. The expanded house will also be home to new headquarters for Angels Among Us. That group provides financial support for families dealing with childhood cancer. Most people look forward to the day they can hang up their work hat and enjoy some rest and relaxation. But retirement isn't for everyone. Case in point, Dr. Harold Maurer. He retired after 15 years as chancellor of the University of Nebraska Medical Center, only to pick up the stethoscope once again. He sat down with Omaha World Herald visual journalist Matt Miller to explain how he failed at retirement. Good, Good job. <laughs> that was awesome. I've always enjoyed taking care of, of people, uh, their health care, and that's why I went into medicine to begin with. And um, I always enjoyed um, leading various efforts, and that's what I did at the medical center. So when I was in my prime of my research time, I moved on to become chairman, when I became chairman, I moved on to become dean, of dean the med to the chancellor. The idea uh, in, in my mind was to, to try retirement, which I did for a couple of months, and I failed. That was, that was the bottom line. <laughs> I enjoy practice, I enjoy seeing patients, and that's why I'm here. Every time I see a patient, I'm really happy about it, and uh, the patients are here, so I'm here. Talk about dedication. He says he has an ongoing conversation about retirement with his wife, Beverly. She's ready for him to hang up his stethoscope. He is still not. Four men credited with saving the lives of six people got a big honor this week in Omaha. Chris Holbeck, Dennis Wilson, and Brett Bales sprang into action in February 2016 to pull three people from a burning car after a crash in Dundee. One of those survivors was there as the men were presented the Carnegie Medal, a national medal for heroism. Some people, when they see a situation like that, would run from it, and they did everything they could to run toward it. Both of them were treated the same. That's a The fourth man honored Omaha police officer Robbie Gehring Jensen. He crawled through a smoke-filled North Omaha house in December of 2015 and pulled three people trapped inside to safety. It's a big day for any couple, the day they decide to tie the knot. But the costs of a wedding can really add up. And that's what has this next story going viral. A woman who knows firsthand just how expensive it can be to say, I do, reaching out to help others with a very simple post. Her story, when Omaha Sunday Morning continues.